Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, we have the new Scentsy Fragrances for the Fall and Winter Collection of 2022. Now, these scents, as well as a brand new catalog, will be launching on August 1st. So this month, our old spring and summer catalog, everything in it is 10% off, but for this month, we have 10 new bars that are added to the catalog. I have not sniffed these yet. These just came in. I went, did a few errands, came home, sat down, and I'm ready to sniff these bars with you. Now, full disclosure, I've watched some videos, and the consensus is... Not the best round of new fragrances for Scentsy, and as you know, I'm 100% open and honest. I am a consultant. We were able to purchase the pack of bars early, but I wanted to sit down, film this video with you guys before August 1st, so you can decide if you like them or not. I am flipping to my catalog for the page of the new releases, and as I said, they are 10 of them. If you would like a catalog from me mailed to you, definitely shoot me an email on my business email. I'll leave it down below and let me know and I will send a catalog your way. But I have these 10 bars to sniff. I'm super anxious, super excited to get to sniff them. So without further ado, let's get sniffing. I'm going to go give you guys my first impressions of the fragrances. I'm going in alphabetical order per the catalog, and then I'm going to rate them as my favorites to my least favorites. So first up, we have Black Currant and Plum, and Scentsy says, Dark Plum and Wild Black Currant in Bolden Sweet Apple for a Temptation You Won't Want to Relist, Resist, and it is in the Fruity category. Okay, not off to a great start. I don't really like this. Um, in Vendor Wax, sometimes the clamshell has like a plastic smell and it like comes off on the bar. I've never ever experienced that with Scentsy, but this is giving me like a plastic note. And I'm not sure if that's mixed with the wild black currant. I'm not a fan of black currant. It is like this really weird artificial tartness that it really comes out and blends. And I'm getting that in here. Apple. I can smell apple, but yeah, I'm not, mm -mm. yeah, I'm not a fan. And like I said, these are all first impressions. I've not melted any of these yet, obviously. So there's that one. <laughs> not a fan. Next, Blackberry Spice. Now, just from the name, I don't think I'm going to like it. It's ripe blackberry bundled up with cedarwood and fresh clove. Interesting. Mm -mm. Nope, this smells like a craft store. Yeah, this smells just like a craft store. Like clove, cinnamon, and berries. Not super unique. I definitely feel like we've had things like this before. Yeah, it, it smells like, mm -mm, no, it smells like a craft store. Not a fan. Oh, boy. All right, this is the one that I'm probably the most excited for is Cran Apple Crumble because it's basically the only bakery in this, in the new releases. And it is baked cran apple, so like a cranberry apple, topped with brown sugar and a dollop of whipped cream. Now, I know Scentsy had brown sugar as a note in Cookies for Santa, and I hated that bar. It was so gross. So, I'm hoping that the brown sugar doesn't come off that way. Here? Oh, my God. Oh, that is awful. No. No. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Nope. It's that nasty brown sugar that's in Cookies for Santa. That's quick. It like smells sour. Like they're like it's gone bad. Almost like you like made this like fruit crumble and it sat on your counter for like a week. Not a fan. Next, falling apples. Oh yay, another apple. Like I just feel like Sensi is not knocking it out of the park. <laughs> falling apples. 
and this is take a stroll through the orchard lined with crisp apple, acorn, and oak. Okay. It smells like a fall apple scent, just like every other apple scent. I get a little bit of a woodsiness from the oak tree. This isn't bad. I'd warm it. Those other three, I would not warm in my house. I'm going to. I'm going to try them. But, yeah, this, mm -mm. it's like, it's like apples and oaks, really. I mean, but it smells like things we've had again before. So, I would melt this. It's not bad. Um, yeah, we'll see. And next, we have Frosted Vanilla. I, uh, I also don't think I'm going to like this one. This is a wonderland of sweet vanilla bean and birch bark with a rush of frosty air. Ugh. It smells like... It smells like really, really bad mint gum and vanilla. Ew. Yeah, it smells like... Ew. Mm -mm. Yeah, not a fan. It's like winter green. Like that mouthwash. This literally smells like, like a, a winter green mouthwash or gum. I was really like... When I heard Frosted Vanilla, I thought that would be really good. I don't know who at corporate is picking these, but these are horrible. Next, we have Huckleberry Hideaway. I love the scent of Huckleberry, so let's see. Fresh picked Huckleberry, Mountain Violet, and Crisp White Woods create the perfect retreat. Interesting. Why has it got to be floral? Oh, this is very floral. And, like, a violet is not a flower that I like, and I never would have thought to pair huckleberries and violets together. It's very interesting. Yeah, this is not good. Nope, it's, it's a very, very floral berry. A very floral berry. Whew. Mm. Well, that's interesting. Uh -huh. Next, Pear Thick Day. I also do really enjoy pear scents, so we'll see this one. Autumn pear mixed with spiced syrup and a spirited splash of bourbon. Okay, this is nice. It smells like like a like a pear dish soap almost. Like I get like a soapiness, like a, a clean soapiness. Yeah, I get, like, a clean soapiness from this. I can see where it says, like, spiced syrup. I could definitely see the spiced syrup in here. Like a spiced pear. Like a spiced pear dish soap. Something that, like, Mrs. Myers at Target would come out with. Yeah, okay. It's in my pile of two that I would buy. Or I would melt. I wouldn't buy. Again. This one is Sips of Cider. So when at first I'm like another cider fragrance. Worse, you know, honey pear cider that everybody loved that you got rid of. Um, this is lively blood orange steeped with sparkling ginger and orange or and cinnamon stick. Oh, this is this is not good either. Uh -uh. This this is like. This is like a cinnamon stick in orange juice. There's no, like, mauled cider to this. Like, a warm fall day. I'm going to be doing a lot of blending. Wow. Well, this was a waste of $60, this kit. I will tell you that. And I'm a Scentsy consultant, but I'm also honest. There are scents from Scentsy I really like. But I'm going to share with you if I like or don't like them. And I, I don't like it. It's, like, bizarre. All right, now we have Velvet Moon. And this is soft vanilla flower and white musk glow behind a silky layer of foggy mist. Okay, this is fresh. I wouldn't necessarily say this is, like, um, fall and winter. It, it kind of 
reminds me of a much calmer newborn nursery. It doesn't smell like baby powder, but it's just a very calm newborn nursery. Like a very light, airy, creamy, foggy mist, white musk, vanilla flower. Yeah, it, it's just very, like, subtle newborn nursery. Almost like if newborn nursery and fuzzy blanket had a baby. That's kind of like what this smells like to me. Okay? Not, not terrible. I'll try to melt that one. Last but not least, we have white amber and silk. And this one says, warm amber and bergamot are wrapped up in a comforting cotton for a smooth finish. This definitely smells very, like, very cotton. Like, you definitely get, like, a fresh cotton scent, like a, like a laundry cotton. And then as far as, like, warm amber and bergamot, it kind of leans towards, like, a very light perfume. Yeah, like a laundry clean perfume. It's not bad, but I, I kind of feel like if I would melt this, I'd be like, oh, it smells okay in here. I, I'm not like, wow, that's amazing, or ooh, that's disgusting. I feel like it's more of just a, oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Do I really need a final thoughts? These are my nose. Cran apple crumble, blackberry spice, black currant and plum, white amber and silk, sips of cider, huckleberry hideaway, and frosted vanilla. These are my, oops, these are my, I'm going to try to melt them and see what I think. Falling apples, perfect day, and velvet moon. I am very curious to see your thoughts on this fall and winter lineup. The warmers in the new catalog, I, I have no desire for any of the new warmers. I don't have, obviously, any desire for the new fragrances. So, I'm going to be saving some money on my Scentsy this year, which is which is good. I, I, I need a little bit of a break from buying the wax. I need a break from wax in general, but... Not a fan. And guess what? You watch me because you want honest opinions. Please try them. Please warm them. I'm going to warm all of these. Even though I don't like half of them, or 70% of them, it's pretty easy to do that percentage. I don't like 70% of them. Um, I'm going to melt them, and I'm going to see what I think. And then once I do, you know I'm going to come back here and tell you. And I will be so happy if I sit down and be like, I melted frosted vanilla and it came alive in the warmers. I loved it and it's going in my club. On cold first impressions, don't think that's going to happen. So again, let's get the conversation going down below. I'd love to know if you picked up these collections, if you're excited to try them, what you're excited for. Have any of you gotten the kits and melted them? Leave your thoughts down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. If not, click that subscribe button and hit that little bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Be kind. Make it a better world. I love you all so much. Bye, guys.